Good evening. I'm Greg Sharp. Our sports ticker tonight brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. A busy weekend of Husker sports starts tonight as the Husker wrestling squad is in Iowa City to face the number two Hawkeyes in a duel. The match begins at 8 o'clock. will be televised on BTN. Husker men's basketball team is in Happy Valley getting set to tangle with Penn State. That'll be at tomorrow at 1.15. Our pregame coverage starts at 12.15. Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen. The Husker women play Sunday at 1 in PBA against nationally ranked Maryland. The Huskers won the first matchup against the Terps back in early December. Husker swimming, track and field, men's tennis, women's gym, and rifle all will be competing at home tomorrow. And the Oscar men's gymnastic squad is at the Rocky Mountain Open in Colorado Springs. The University of Michigan announced today that they have fired co-offensive coordinator Matt Weiss, who is under investigation by university police for a report of computer access crimes. Weiss has been with a Wolverine program for the last two seasons. Our sports ticker brought to you by the 1890 Initiative, helping Husker student athletes navigate name, image, and likeness. Learn more or donate. Visit 1890Nebraska.com. Now get ready for Sports Highly coming up on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. I believe that like, I want to, I want to help guys get better. And so to do that, you have to have players who want that, who want to wake up every day and just work and grind. And so um, that's all really important to me. Uh, if we have the core of our team that's like that, we'll be hard to beat. Side for Walker, get past left side. Bryden Bach to Wiltshire, puts it up. Go! Three ball, C.J. Wiltshire, another CVA three. That ball was just popping around, just great movement. Shelly to throw it in, baseline left, into Markowski, back to Jazz, three, pointer, you betcha! In the deep left corner, off the screen assist from Markowski. Walker in the back corner will bring it across the line with a pass to Gary. Gary attacks the rim, jam over with a right hand, a tomahawk dunk by Gary, and the Huskers with a 41 to 24 lead, and there is our first Interstate Bank play of the game. Ford series for Nebraska. Hyme around a Mendelssohn screen. Deep right side, Izzy Ford's three. You betcha! That's a Central Valley egg three from Izzy Ford. Off the assist from Hyme. Stand up, Husker fans. This is a great win for Nebraska. They knock off previously undefeated Kansas. Their second win over a top 20 team this year. And the Huskers in three overtimes defeat Kansas 85 to 79 tonight in Lincoln. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are Friday night, last show of the week here on Sports Alley. And as I mentioned in the ticker, we are leading into a really busy weekend. I can't imagine, Jessica, how busy the facility staff is going to be the next 24 hours. You've got Devaney hopping with track, swimming, gymnastics, and then you've got uh, men's tennis going on at the Dillon Tennis Center and PBA on Sunday for women's hoops. That's busy. Yeah, there's a lot going on around here. It's that time of the year where um, it starts crossing over and you got multiple things going on. I was over at Devaney earlier today to get ready for gymnastics and there's lots of track people uh, walking around there. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's already crazy around over at that area. Yeah, track has kind of two different meets. There's one today, kind of more of a small college meet today. I think a couple Huskers competed. The bigger one for track is the Mark Colligan Memorial. That is tomorrow at the Devaney. Swimming and diving, 11 o'clock, Illinois. It's their senior day already. They're starting to kind of wind down their season. In fact, we need to get uh, Coach Morales in to get kind of an update on Husker swimming before their season wraps up. Men's tennis, we're going to talk to Sean Miami, their head coach in hour number two. They open their season tomorrow against Creighton at the Dillon Tennis Center at 5 o'clock. Then at 6 o'clock tomorrow night, women's gym. You're going to be on the call on that on BTN Plus against Maryland. Yes, I, I'm excited. Um, it's a big one, and it's a pink night, and they're going to be in, they're giving away pink pom-poms. It's, you know, the annual ice stand for the cancer meet. A lot of the women's teams do this event, whether it, you know, to honor cancer survivors. And so a lot of them, they're wearing pink Leos. They're 
beautiful. They're so pretty. But also a few of them are, are wearing specialty ribbons in their hair to honor a particular person that's impacted in their life, the, the color of cancer that, that the person that they know has been impacted by. And so it's a special meet. I know they're, they're hoping for another big crowd like the one they had the last time out. And, um, you know, they, they came out last weekend and, and had a good week. They were over 196, which is yeah. really good here at the early goings of the season. And, um, you know, Maryland's a team that they should be able to, to compete with. It's a big one. They, they need a win. And um, so, yeah, I'm excited. And, and we'll be on the call with Kinsey Roby, who uh, people are yep. from very, very familiar with, has had a, had a great career here with the Huskers. So uh, if you can't make it out to Devaney, you can watch us on Big Ten Plus. We'll allow it. I think they may have tweeted out a picture of their Leos that they're wearing. I think they just morning. did a teaser of it. I did think they? it was just a little small. Uh, well, something. unless it came out today. No, I saw something, and it was, you're right. It was just kind of a little quick snippet of what they're going to wear tomorrow. But you're right. They had over 4,400 fans out there for the Arkansas match two weeks ago. So, And also, this is also a meet where they're going to have autographs after. Oh, so, great. you know, they're going to be giving away the pom-poms and then the, the, if you're a breast cancer or cancer survivor, they'll, they'll be honoring those folks. And then you can stick around and get autographs with posters. So that's always fun for the, the youngsters. I've always told people, if you've not been to a gymnastics meet, particularly on the women's side, I don't need to downgrade the men, but I, I really prefer the women's side more than the men. They're really fun, and they move quick, like two they hours. They really do. And they're inside of two hours, and it's over because they just hop, hop, hop to the each event. Oh yeah, and it's like it's. I I've said this too. It's kind of um, especially the first time. It's, it's sensory overload a little bit because you've got there's so much going on, and you've got a vault, and it happens really quickly, and yeah. then right over to the bars. The bars goes, and those those happen really quickly. But then the the floor is always so entertaining, and then you get the exhilaration of the balance beam that's and and because they're going back and forth on these types of meets it's um it's a lot of fun and you know we, we heard from sophia mcclellan last night and she has such a fun personality there's a lot of um fun personalities on this team and so get out and support them there's not there's not a lot of opportunities with gymnastics to support at home you know they, they don't it's not like a, a home schedule like a basketball where right. you have a bunch of games that you can get to so you want to get out there while you can yeah there are only a couple to choose from and, and it's even skinnier on the men's side they only have one or two home uh, meets for that and the men are competing but they're on the road at colorado springs uh, their second weekend of competition out there as well. So busy weekend, a chance for you to go maybe sample something else. And again, we'll talk to men's tennis coach, Son Sean Mybe coming up in hour number two. Basketball, we're going to hear from Fred Hoiberg in the top of hour two. He had a, a brief press gathering today before they flew to Penn State. The women play on Sunday. And, you know, boy, they beat, they've already beaten Maryland. That ought to give them, I would think, Jessica, some, some real good mojo going into this thing, knowing that they've already beaten this team that they're going to play on Sunday. This team seems to rise to the occasion yeah. a lot of times. I mean, look what they did against Indiana. Um, they've, they've played some teams very tough that are really good teams. And at home, this team loves being at home, no doubt about it. And I think there's going to be a great crowd with a, a Number 11 team. Maryland's a good team, but yeah, yeah, I think that they saw what they could do and that they can compete with them, and so they got to bring their A game. But it's it's a big opportunity, and when you start talking about, again, there's still a lot to play out, and you know we like to talk about it, the the bubble watch and the bracketology, and right now what they're at. But this team's got some opportunities ahead that they could absolutely improve that resume. This is one of those games. If you beat Maryland twice, because Maryland is a good team, they and they've. Are beating some good teams, that's a good resume builder. And so they could add to that resume and, and that case right here with a big win here. And, and again, just protecting home court, which this team loves to play inside PBA. I know they were not happy with the, the last time out. Ohio State. And Ohio yeah. State's a good basketball team. But I just I think that this team believes that they can beat anybody, especially at home inside Pinnacle Bank Arena. We heard the men say that, you know, that, mm -hmm. that when – with the crowd that that's at hand there they have a good home court advantage and and they just they believe they they can beat anybody they can play with anybody they've done it they've proven it and so i think they were pretty disappointed that they didn't win against ohio state and so i think they're they're pretty excited to get back home and, and have another shot inside pinnacle bank arena one o'clock sunday for that matchup we'll have pre we'll have pregame coverage here on the network at uh, 1245 so looking forward to that the football stadium is lit up today there's some visits going on you've even kind of bumped into a couple of the young men who are making official visits to Nebraska this weekend I loved Matt Rule's tweet a couple hours ago 
he caught up with the softball team. They were doing picture day for the softball team. Caught up with them in the lobby, took his picture with that. Uh, but, yeah, there's some big fellows walking around here right now. He's given – what's the guy who, the guy's name that's always at every event and he's the Go Big Red guy? Um, he's, he's around. Yeah, no, you know what yeah, I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about. And yep. he's always decked out in the Husker gear. Yep. And – Matt Rule has given him a run for his money here. Sure is. I mean, he's been at every event. He's, he was at women's basketball the other day. He was at gymnastics, said he was going back to gymnastics. He's tweeting about the softball team. I mean, he's been all in on supporting the Huskers. He tweeted out the other day about uh, a track athlete that had broken the school record. I mean, he's been all in. He's invested in supporting all the teams around here. And I, that means a lot to these coaches. You know, I, I talked about this the other day to Heather Brink and the women's gymnastics program, what it meant to them. And they had football student athletes that were there. And this is well before the school was yep. in, in session. I mean, school's not even in session. But before they had to be back, they were there supporting the team. And so uh, it means a lot. It, it gives a lot of – there's a lot of energy and, and morale going on around here. And he's leading the charge in that regard. Sure is. They're all back. They've been out canvassing the countryside, visiting schools. You've seen a lot of social media activity from a lot of the coaches. But they're all back this weekend – Five or six young guys are going to be on campus for official visits. Some, you know, may end up being Huskers. Some may not, but you never, you never know. You could get a kind of a hidden jewel even this late in the whole process. Yeah, I mean, the big day now is is in December, but we've seen a few uh, players decommit, have wanted to take the time to whether there might be changes or if you're Florida and the NIL deal <laughs> or the yeah the NIL deal falls through maybe you open back up uh, get out of that and there's opportunities still but uh, you know and I know they're, they're not done with the transfer portal nope. either there that's a couple of the guys that are here but got some big visits here this weekend that I know that they're hoping to lock up but yeah the Certainly can can maybe add a couple names here coming up in a couple weeks, but um, yeah, I think the, obviously the big days back in December. But they're not done. They don't they don't quit. This stuff does not quit. They do not yeah. stop. They're on the road right now visiting. Half of them, half of them are here. So yeah, it's um, they do not stop. They they have a lot of energy, and I think that kind of goes to to Matt Rule on the opening press conference that he had when he said, "I like young assistants." Well, you got to be to keep up with what the pace that these guys are going at. I do know one thing. They got the music cranking out there in the concourse. It is loud out there. It's been cranking since I walked in at 9.30 this morning. They've had it going. Know, it's because good. the visits got, the Started. some of the guys got here last night. Yeah. And so it's been all day. And so it's been a party all day around here. And so, yeah, they've, they've had it going from the second I walked in the door this morning. Folks, check out the Husker Extra mobile app from the team at Lincoln Journal. Star, it's the best place for everything Husker sports. Search the App Store for Husker Extra and download today. You mentioned, you referred to it, the Florida Gator guy. They had a um, young guy who signed with them and got an NIL deal to quarterback for the Gators. He had originally committed to Miami, flipped late on signing day back in December to the Gators. Well, they've gotten sideways with each other. The coaching staff down there, Coach Napier is the head coach for the Gators. This quarterback is from California originally, and they cut him loose. Florida says, we are releasing you from your – I think we're going to see more of that. I think some of these guys who are in it for the money and in it for the wrong reasons, and once coaches kind of get them on campus and go – I don't think you're here for the right reason. I think we're going to see more of this happen with student athletes. Yeah, and I, I think that's going to be something here where we talk about it a lot, and it's important, but it's not the most important thing. And that's, they're going to, I think this staff is not going to just go all in and, and for a big, they want to make sure that kids are coming here for the right reasons and not just for that NIL deal. I just I think that's how this, this staff is going to operate. And it's important and they want to provide those opportunities are absolutely supportive of that, but that's not the most important thing. And um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't read all up on how and why that all fell through if the company didn't deliver or, or what, but, um, and I, I think the kid wanted out too. I think he wanted out. And, yeah. and then Florida let him out. Yeah. And so, yeah, what a mess. And you gotta, I mean, why would you promise something that you can't deliver on? And that, know. you know, you, you just think the kid's going to be all right. Cause the kid, the kid was committed to Miami for a while and decommitted and 
probably a little bit like what we've seen from a couple of the the guys recently but you know he he had been committed to Miami and when that thing when it fell through for him he probably was like well he was probably only going there for that NIL deal right. because originally his his heart was somewhere else yep that's what i think and i think you can i think you can fish it out of kids you can, and coaches aren't going to put up with guys that are just in it for the money at this point in time in their career. They haven't done anything. They've been playing high school football or basketball or volleyball, whatever the sport that they're playing in. And if you're just in it to get a check, you're not going to succeed at this level. You've got to compete so hard at this level in any of these sports to be good. Here, here's my thing, too, is, is as much whatever money as you might potentially think that you could make in NIL, deals and all of that it still doesn't compare to what you could potentially make at the nfl level correct and or so, the NBA so, or whatever it may so be. for yeah. some of these kids that are getting these opportunities at nil does a lot of them have the potential to make it to the nfl so to me i think you should be less concerned about the nil deals that you can sign right now and who's going to help you develop as a player as a person to be able to set yourself up for the future long term not just for four years while you're in college or three years while you're in college it's because if you are investing in yourself in a way you you're going to set yourself up for and your family up forever if you yeah. get a good deal if you make it to the nfl and get that kind of contract and that kind of deal whereas in in nil the, there's just there, the money doesn't compare yet it doesn't for everybody. Don't you get the sense Matt Rule's not going to mess around with guys like that? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't think the staff is out I, for a second going to no. deal with that. They're going to sniff that out and go, and also, we're walking away from this kid. It also has a, there's a fine line, and we've heard that from every single coach here about causing issues in the locker room. And so it's, it's, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be something that's as of utmost importance. They understand it's part of it and they're going to work with it and I know that there's already been a great relationship with the companies that are already in place but it's not going to be the end all be all for kids. They're not going to just sign a kid because hey they're only coming here for an NIL deal. Right. That's not what's important to this staff and it, we've seen how important the culture is and the brotherhood and you got to come in here and work hard and all those things if the only thing that's concerning you is NIL, then that's, that's you're, you're probably not going to be a fit you're, here. Great. You're off to the wrong start. Yeah. Crypto King says the crank music is because it's the party show. Yes, they, they got it going for us yeah, here tonight. Yeah, they knew so. we, were, we had our show tonight. There you go. All right, here's what we have on the program tonight. Josh Banderas, former black shirt, legacy player for the Huskers. His dad was a terrific tight end for Tom Osborne in the late 80s. Josh is going to stop by, talk some black shirts, talk about defense, talk about his initial thoughts about the Matt Rural staff. I saw Josh at the press conference back in November with his dad uh, when Matt Rural got introduced. We'll talk to Josh, hear from him. Fred Hoiberg had a press conference before they flew to Penn State. We'll play some of the clips of that in hour number two and Sean Miami the men's tennis coach for the Huskers will be here to preview their season which begins tomorrow with a duel in the, against the Creighton Blue Jays. Hey our sports on a hotline brought to you by Woodhouse where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime they've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back with Josh coming up next. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. 
based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Got it. Huskers have come from seven down to tie it up at 26. They've got the basketball. Greasel passes up behind him to Walker, drives the ball against Garcia. Got it up and down. And there we have our play of the game right there. The come from behind layup by Walker. Saturday, Husker Hoops on the men's side starts with pregame coverage with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheising beginning at 12-15 against Penn State. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Nebraska women's basketball offers one of the best values in all of Husker sports with single game reserve tickets at Pinnacle Bank Arena for just $15. Adult general admission seating is just $10, while youth and senior general admission tickets are $5. Children six and under are just a buck. Plans now to bring your whole family to Husker women's basketball for Big Ten home games in January and February. Get your tickets and the full schedule at Huskers.com. Since 1993, Dakota Mac has offered fixed long-term ag real estate loans perfect for any stage of life. The rebellious 15-year loan, the here for laundry 20-year loan, and the 30-year loan who thinks they can tell you a thing or two about parenting. Whatever your needs, trust Dakota Mac with your legacy. Hi, it's Nick Reno from Dakota Mac. Please call me at 308-380-7564 to learn all about our competitive rates on ag real estate loans. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. We have a visitor to our studios. First time he's been in our studios here. Used to visit us down in the old Haymarket for a while. Josh Banderas, former Blackshirt. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. It feels nice to be down here. The new facilities are coming up great. A lot's changed. But, you know, it always seems like every time you leave somewhere, they get something new and shiny, and, you, you know, it's nice to come back and see it. Well, let's get caught up on you. You played in the USFL last year, but you got hurt. Yep. 
you know, kind of the story of the career, to be honest. But uh, it was fun. It was a good experience. Uh, it was an interesting experience. We had all eight teams in one hotel in Birmingham for the whole season. Wow. So we'd go out and, and play play a game, and, and you come back, and, you know, you're sitting down at the same table eating with the guy you just played against. So it was a really different dynamic, but you got to meet a ton of people from everywhere that – some of them played in the league for five years, and some of them were just, you know, came out in the COVID year and were just waiting for a chance. So it was a great opportunity, and, and it was really fun. I saw you at a sponsor event in August, and you had a boot on. You don't have the boot on anymore, so are you healthy? What, where are you with, with your health? Yeah, I kind of had a nasty, nasty injury, and I didn't, I didn't actually hurt it in the game. It was just kind of something that needed to be taken care of, and, it's, you know, we, we got in there to do the surgery. It ended up being worse than, than we thought, so it's just going to – be a long process just trying to get back to to playing a couple games of pickleball a week you know so it's yeah. it's it's a it's a long haul well hang in there keep getting better with that stuff and i know that you've you've uh, kicked around the thought of coaching at some point in time in your life yeah no and i, and I had uh, really my first my first ever coaching anything was at, at north star high school and it was reimer's senior year actually so that's kind of the first little uh stint in coaching i had and i loved it and then um last year uh, i was at oregon state last season um, at Oregon State coaching with, with Trent Bray. Yep. Um, so that was a really good experience. It kind of got, it was my first eye opener into what college coaches do, you know. So as a, as a player, it's, you know, it's, oh, we got meetings and meetings and meetings. But then, you know, I got into the other side and it's, it's times two. Every meeting they have, coaches got another one or two for it. So um, eye opener, but it, you know, it's it's the show. You're still in it. It's it's fun. It's awesome. The boys are great, and so that uh, that might be a still a future future um, job of mine. Well, good, and it's great to get the kind of peek behind the curtain of what those guys actually have to oh, put yeah. into to get ready for the season, a game, even a meeting with their position groups. It's no doubt, pretty remarkable stuff. You were in attendance at the press conference to name the new head coach here in Matt Rural. What do you think so far? What, what's the first, what are your impressions of the last two months? That it fits. It, it, it just seems like he, he fits here with everything he's doing. He's, there's, they've had big splashes. They, like we, we've gotten these two, two five-star kids from, from Georgia. Those are big gets. Yep. But at the same time, it's nothing, nothing's been blown out of proportion. We're not winning the national championship. We're not even talk about getting to the Big Ten championship and winning it. We're, he's just doing exactly what he said he would do. He's just taking it day by day and, and, and working. So it's, it feels like it fits with Nebraska, the people around here and, and what this program has always done. It's never been, um, you know, very loud and cocky and, you know, promises and all that. It was just put your nose to the ground and start working. So it's, it's been very, very exciting to, to sit back and watch. He hired Tony White to be the defensive coordinator and, and he's talked about running a 3-3-5. I don't know what he's talking about. What when you hear that terminology, what comes to mind? Um, kind of it's it it seems like it's different than what it is yeah. to me. Because at first it's like three, three, five. I don't know if that's gonna gonna work in the Big Ten. But then you just start start looking at it and thinking back to uh, Myers in Nebraska, and then kind of coaching Oregon State and these different leagues that I've played in. Everybody kind of runs a three, three, five. Now normally it's the longer distance when you get your dime package in, but. Um, it's it's not not really you can turn it into a three four you can turn it into a four three just with different different ways that you move it and different places you put people so i i don't think it's i think it's going to be fine i think he's going to be able to um twist and turn it so it so it fits in with the big 10 and you know i think originally it was designed because they didn't have the big beef up front like what what dion was saying when uh he was down at jackson state like are you going to go play alabama he's like i got the speed for it but I don't have the big guys for it. And that's the thing with every, everybody wants to recruit the big monsters up yeah. front. And, you know, smaller schools, even like TCU, they just didn't have the meat up front. So they got to get creative. So um, I think with the way that we can recruit here, that 3-5 that, that is going to morph um, a lot more than maybe in, in his coaching past. Good. But visiting with former Husker Blackshirt Josh Banderas here on Sports Highly. You mentioned being at North Star and coaching Luke Reimer. He's had a pretty good career, hadn't he? Yeah, yeah. Did you see that at that level? I man, I I pushed it so hard here. We we actually had a conversation when he was coming out of, because he you know he had a bunch of the FCS offers. He had South Dakota State and mm -hmm. South Dakota, and um, you know it was like what uh, 
you know, kind of, it was a conversation, which one should I do? Should I go up there and, and, and get some money or should I try and walk on here? And it was just, uh, it, it came down to just, do you want to be a Husker or do you want to go be a Jackrabbit? Right. So, you know, you lay it out like that, the, the, it's a pretty easy decision, um, you know, at, at least to me. And then when he got down here, my only, my only thing to say to him was, you need to go out there and, and your first fall camp, like you're the starter. Like Mo Berry was here, like mm -hmm. really good, great linebacker. I was like, don't act like you're just behind him automatically. You're behind anybody else. You need to go out like you're the starter, confident, and you know he he just he took it from there. And he's you know obviously just a very naturally gifted and, and, and smart kid. And um, so he's he's had a great career, and I'm excited to, to watch him finish it up. You cross paths some with Luke Gifford. Now Isaac is here as a Husker. What are your impressions of him being his? And he's still fairly young career he's got going here. He reminds me of Nate Gary. Oh. Personality-wise. He's, he's got a little bit different playing style, but um, he's kind of just got that, that it factor. And when you talk to him and you're out there, like he just kind of um, has that confident aura around him. Like he, he just even in a regular conversation, you can just tell, like, this kid's got it. Uh, and, and he puts it out on the field. He put it out on the field in high school, and he's he's got all the you know all the physical attributes, and he's smart in the um, smart in the classroom too. So again, I, he's another one that I, I don't know if we're gonna. I think he's got two years of eligibility left. I don't know if we're gonna get him for two. So hopefully, wow. so hopefully he's gonna have a, a heck of a season like I think he's gonna have. Well, and and that kind of jives with Evan Cooper, the new defensive backs coach. He said he goes, I've got some NFL guys in my room, and I think Isaac's one of the guys that he's. Talking no, about no question, no question. We've got we've got the talent to to play with anybody. Yeah, and in the three three five, you got to think there's plenty of spots for Isaac to be. A oh yeah, no, I, I think he's. I think they're gonna maybe try and use him like a little how JoJo was his last year. Sometimes he he came off the edge a ton. We yeah. blitzed him a whole lot, and and he still was able to drop in coverage and, um, you know, show show his skills in the back end and breaking up balls. But he still, you know, had a, had a lot of sacks and, and stops in the backfield. So I think Isaac can kind of be that Swiss, Swiss Army knife for this defense. All right, this is a loaded question for you. I'm just going to say that up front. Coach White said, he goes, he wants to study the history and tradition of the black shirts. You were one. You got one. You know all about it from you growing up in Lincoln and having your dad play here, not on that side of the ball. But what's the right approach to it? I mean, and everybody's done it a little bit differently. Bo did it a different way. Coach Rada did it a little differently. Coach Frost did it. What's the right way in Josh Banderas' mind? Right. So, so to me... I mean, I, I think I think he has to do his his research. Right? He's, he needs to go talk to Jay Foreman and, and Peters and and all these these old black shirts that that started it and and really set the foundation for all of us. But uh, man, to me, it's just earning fall camp. It is your it is your 11 starters plus you know anymore. You got your your starting nickel and and dimes. So you got a couple extras, but yeah. it is your 11 starters. If you earn that during camp, the black shirt is yours. I, I don't I don't agree with with when um, I think Bo for a little bit took him away. Yeah. Um, you know, and then last season not not giving not him back him to black. Yeah. To, to me, that's not it. I I texted Luke and I said, look, you're you're a black shirt, right? We, we can take it away, but you're a black shirt. You earned it in camp, and, and you got to go out there and put it on the field. But in my mind, that's when that's what black shirts is. You you put in the grind and the sweat and the blood and the tears and for that three or four weeks in fall camp. And, and, and you came out as the number one guy, then and then that's it. You're it. Now go represent it. All right? There's no there's no taking it back. Give and take. Give and take it. You earned it. It's yours. Now go play like it. Well, Josh, it's been a drought, hasn't it? I mean, I just I mean, you grew up around it. You knew you expected bowl games every year, and it's we're in a drought right now. We've got to get this thing flipped. I I think we're all hoping that this is going to work with Coach Rural moving forward. Oh, I think so. I, I, I do. I really do. I, I have a lot of confidence in the, in the guys that we have here. Um, you know, just knowing a couple of them and just, there's just the want, man. I mean, especially with, with Reimer. He has just always wanted to win and he's put in the work and he's, he, he wins at everything he does. Yep. Uh, if he's just doing an individual sport and he's got the right attitude for it. It's an us mentality. It's not a me mentality. We've got the rest of the guys to go along with it. And it's just, I think it's going to fall into place this year. I think we're going to we're, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be in a bowl game, and the, and the future's bright for for Coach Rule's tenure. Hope so.
NFL playoffs. You excited for the games this weekend? Oh, yeah. I see Watchman Chiefs get it done. Yeah. Yeah, so it's... Uh, That's maybe the least exciting game to me of the weekend. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope it's the least exciting. But, no, there's, there's some games, man. There's some matchups. Dallas has finally made it. Get, you know, I, hopefully, hopefully, uh, Giff can make it up to a Super Bowl, and that'd be awesome. You know, and the Bengals and Bills, we're gonna finally see that play out since the unfortunate uh, stop at the yeah. the last time. But uh, it's a, it's gonna be a great weekend of football. I know you missed Brett Maher. I think he graduated before you got to campus. Yep. That was hard to watch the other it, night. It I felt was. awful for him. I did, and I was texting Spencer Lindsay too about it since he, you know he's pretty close to him being from Carney and all right. that. And, it's just uh, tough, but you know, you know, you you play golf. Sometimes you, you get, get the yips. You get the yips. You can't make a five foot putt. There's not, and there's no, there's no science to it. There's no way to get out of it. You just got to keep swinging. And so I, I was listening to uh, Get Up this morning, and Ryan Clark said it. McCarthy has to play it smart. Like like, don't put Brett out there for his first field goal of the day being a 52 yarder. Right. All right. Maybe you go for it on that fourth down. Just get his, because you know he can do it. Sure. I he mean, he said he set a couple records this year. Yeah. So so put him in a situation to get his confidence back up you know they they, they brought the extra kicker in on, on practice squad which doesn't they have to do it really you they have do. to it doesn't help Brett's confidence at all in any way but you got to do it as a team so I hope I hope he I hope he comes back the yips are the yips sometimes you, they could stay for a day or they could stay for a couple years yeah you know? we've seen so, it a lot of times in a lot of different sports all right good to see you yeah. Glad, glad you're walking around without a boot. I know. I know the ice might get me, though. That's the, that's the bad part about it. You were scooting in here. I said, be careful. A little yeah. slippery out there and someone else said, Good to see you, Josh. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you. Josh Banderas, former Husker Black Shirt, with us here on Sports Sunday. Folks, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Jessica will rejoin me next. Come support the women's basketball team as we pack PBA on February 18th against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Join the Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra, and Bex Hybrids in helping the Nebraska women's basketball team pack PBA on February 18th when the Huskers face Iowa. Coach Williams of the Huskers want you there to give them a home court advantage against the Hawkeyes. Purchase your tickets at Huskers.com. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. And Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Nebraska Innovation Campus creates partnerships between business and the University of Nebraska. Partners lease office space, laboratories, pilot plants, and greenhouses. All centrally located with easy access to University of Nebraska talent and resources. Nebraska Innovation Campus, creating spaces and culture that inspire. Learn more at innovate.unl.edu. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. 
For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales. Hi, it's Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. And I'm Amy Just from the Lincoln Journal Star. Hey, listen, HuskerExtra.com and the Husker Extra mobile app have the best coverage of Nebraska sports. Our reporting team shares features and analysis of all Husker sports, along with the latest recruiting news and more. Plus, Husker Extra subscribers have access to our exclusive podcast, The Showdown, where we share our latest insights and expectations. Go to HuskerExtra.com or search Husker Extra in your app store. Download and subscribe today. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, it's sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you Friday night. Sports Highly here on the Huskers Radio Network. If you want to be a part of the program, 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. Art in L.A. And our text line said, Greg, after seeing the gleam in his eyes when he talks about Husker football, I predict that someday Josh will become a coach for the Huskers. Well, he wants to coach and told me he's got some uh, GA interviews coming up in the next few weeks, so we wish him nothing but uh, good luck. Good guy to have here in Lincoln and know his dad, Tom, really well. Um, So good to have Josh on the program. Deion Sanders. Jessica, this guy's making waves in Boulder. I saw it in the chat room guys were talking about this. He flipped a five-star corner from Miami, Cormani McLean from the Hurricanes, the Buffaloes, the number four overall prospect in this class. What do you think? Is this going to work? I, I mean, it sounds like a bunch of sec- – uh, uh, um, oh, not, non-trenches guys. True. He's like, getting a lot of a lot of guys on the periphery yes. outside. Um, what is it? I just lost the word. What is it? Um, skill position skill, people. Skill guys. Those skill guys. guys. I yeah. was like, oh my gosh, like I couldn't think of the word. You can't win without. With just, I guess you can in the Pac-12 because look <laughs> at what Lincoln Riley just did. But you know, I I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, he's getting a lot of a lot of publicity right now, and good and bad. I mean. He breaks the internet. Colorado does one day for the strength coach, giving out orders and everybody making fun of them then. And then today they put out about how to treat women. And so it's like, it's, boy, they're putting every, everything's out there, right? It's like a reality TV show, I feel like, at this point, because you know everything that's happening at Colorado at this point. His son's going to be the quarterback. We're going to be there like in nine months. Yeah. Game two for the Oscars is in Boulder. So we're, and that's going to be Dion's first home game. Because yep. they open at TCU. So they're going to play the Horn Frogs right out of the gate. That'll be a tough chore for them. And then come home, and here comes Big Red. 
it's going to be pretty electric that day for that game. I mean, it, and so you got Matt Rural game two, Deion Sanders game two. A lot of Husker fans love that, this matchup. Um, I'm excited to see that atmosphere. I've never been to Colorado. It's pretty cool. Sam in Omaha says, will it even be possible to get a ticket for that game uh, without having to pay 300 plus, plus bucks? That game is circled for me. I, Sam, it's going to be hard because it's not that big. It seats about 60, 55 or 60. It's not a huge, huge stadium. And with it being Dion's first home game, you're going to have to pay some money to get in the door. Yeah. Um... I think my dad and brother are going to try to go because, really? yeah, yeah, they, um, I mean, again, it's, it's kind of one of those atmospheres too, that it's, it's pretty historic and you got the Buffalo or the bison, yep. what Buffalo, Ralphie. Buffalo, right? Ralphie, the Buffalo is going to come They're very out. like, listen, Buffalo and bison people are very particular about bison, Buffalo. And, but I didn't know if that particular animal that runs out on the field was a bison or a Buffalo. Do you know? I mean, it's a buffalo. It's a buffalo. Okay. And there's a difference. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And people get angry. But I didn't know if, like, the mascot itself was a bison or buffalo. Because aren't bison smaller? A little or... bit, yeah. You don't want to get near this guy. That's, he's, I know. He's he, angry. Boy, yes. But anyway, it's just all that kind of lore. And then just the history between Nebraska and Colorado. And Colorado at one point was a power in the Big 12. They were. And so uh, it's, and it's, I've, I've been told, just beautiful. Because you, Gorgeous the campus. mountains and it all is. of that. And so. Um, and then, then you just throw in that they love Matt Rule, and then the Deion Sanders element. I mean, it is. I mean, that is a storybook game there early in the season. No doubt. I think a lot of Husker fans will go to Minneapolis yeah. for the opener. Don't yeah. you? Beautiful weather up there that time of year. They want to see Matt it's Rule's not, first it's game. It's one of those drivable ones. Easy drive, yeah. six hours from and, Omaha. And probably the tickets won't be as hard to get no, there. No, not at all. So Not at all. So those are the first two games. I wish we had the home game to start Coach Rule's career here but oh and there's some advice coming in on the chat room it says don't go out there in a nebraska vehicle they'll damage your vehicle they see your nebraska they tags. do that they've been known to do that wow that's pretty it's, rude it's very it's uh, yeah that's it can be very rude wow out there 402-413 i think we've got people fired up talking about dion in colorado they got fired some folks up here on the uh, program tonight today or yesterday was the deadline for guys to submit their names for the NFL draft. And the, the Big Ten has a handful of guys, over 100 underclassmen uh, have put their name into the hopper. By the way, the draft's in Kansas City. How about that? That's cool. We should send you down there for that. I'm, I've covered drafts before, actually. So. It would be fun. Uh, April 27th is the draft. It'll be but in will Kansas we City. have any that are in the first round? That's when you got to no, go. That's no, where. We won't. I mean, the, the time to go is when you got guys going in the first or second round. Right. Uh, out of the Big Ten Conference, guys that have submitted their name, a couple guys from Maryland, Deontay Banks, a DB, uh, has come out early to go to the, the draft. You've got uh, also from Iowa, one of their, off, their defensive linemen, Wisconsin's Nick Herbig, terrific outside end rusher for them. He's declared early. Evan Hole, the running back for Northwestern, who had a decent game against the Huskers in that game in Ireland. Jeremiah loves him. He declared. He loves him. That surprises me. Uh, uh, Jer I just, I, I'm going to call him. I'm calling Jeremiah up the show. I disagree with that. But how long has Evan been there? He's how old? I think he's a fourth-year guy, but it could probably redshirted one year, so he'd have one year left. But also, though, I mean, it's like. Now, their tackle's good. They, they don't they, And really they have good. a new um, offensive coordinator, right? They do. The, I mean, if you're a guy that's been around and been a part of the program and then there's all these changes coming and, I mean, it might be worth it just to, because he's probably going to, even if he doesn't get drafted, he's going to be a guy that, that lands on a team. Correct. And he's going to do things the right way and all of that. He's really smart, obviously. So he's going to get a chance. And as long as you take care of business, I mean, I think, he, I think for a guy like that, where if he's probably graduated, he um, doesn't want to go through the changes. They had a bad year last year after. Awful. I mean, so, I, I mean, I, I don't necessarily disagree. I, just because... For some of those guys, just because, oh, well, you might not get drafted. But for some of them, they, they've, they're ready to be done with their college career. In this chapter, especially when there's changes coming, you got new coaches, you had a bad year, you don't see it improving much next year, and you do have a chance to go make a team. I mean, I, I, I understand it. Even if it's, yeah. you know, you not, might not be a first, second, or third rounder, I absolutely understand, like, wanting to move on and, and you know, pursue the next step of your life. There is a Husker on this list. The underclassman declaring Trey, Trey Palmer. Palmer. So.
And, and people will say, what about Garrett? Well, Garrett had played four years, but Garrett could have got that fifth year with the COVID year, but he has played four full seasons for the Huskers. Trey did not. Trey played just three years of college football, and we wish nothing but the best for Garrett or Trey. I want everything. I want those guys to have a great year. Trey is going to be a fascinating story to follow because he's going to test well. He will. He's going to, like... You want to talk about when people are lined up with their stopwatches for the 40? Like, really well. he's going to be the, like, must-see event yep. if he runs it, which I, I would imagine he'll get an invite to the Combine. So he might not. If he runs it well at the Combine, he might not run it here at Pro Day. If he goes, I, he'll get an invite to the Combine, right? I haven't right? seen that he has been, though. We need to look that up. I've the, not seen that this he This is, has. A, I think, a loaded wide receiver class, yeah. which is why the, you know, hesitancy, maybe he should wait because Come there back. are a lot of good wide receivers. So I yeah. don't know. We'll see. I need to take our final break. We're back to wrap up hour one next. With seven Nebraska women's basketball Big Ten home games left on the schedule in January and February, Husker fans can still take advantage of the starting five pack. Build your own custom made five game women's basketball mini ticket package for just $60. Get your tickets now at huskers.com slash tickets or call the Nebraska Athletic Ticket Office at 1 800 8 Big Red. That's 1 800 8 Big Red. Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for your next SUV and experience the difference. We offer a full lineup of SUVs so you can find the one that best suits you and your lifestyle. The GMC Terrain and Acadia offer the perfect blend of tech and safety on the road. Or discover the style, comfort, and cargo space of the Buick Enclave. Plus, we make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands, huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Getting lots of advice for you in the chat room about going to Boulder. I don't think these people like Colorado fans mm -hmm. in the chat. Let's see. Uh, Crypto says if you go, make sure you drink. Don't. You do drink their water. Make sure to buy bottled water, so don't, don't, don't go get from the fountain. I, I said that... Lots of vandalism th stories. Th they're going to keep my car. But you know what? I was warned about Iowa, and those fans were great. They were offering me, like, Fireball, and, like, now, if some I... Some of those were Husker fans sitting right behind the bench, They were. Right? There, there were quite a few Husker fans that were right behind the bench. But there were... But the Iowa fans were pretty nice to me, they too, were. right there. Yeah, because they've been beating us. Now, afterwards... Yeah. After we won the game, maybe they weren't, but they'd won, what, five, six in a row over us, so... That makes a difference. Well, that's just is all very good advice people are giving you. I'm taking notes, yeah. Yeah? Now, Send that to your dad and your brother. Yeah. One guy says he got jumped in a bar because he had Husker gear on. That's not nice. Oh, wow. I wonder what Colorado fans think about when they came here. We're what? always nice. I know that, but I, I mean, like, I would, I would love to hear what their perspective is on it. Like, you know? Because yeah. if they heard what we were saying about them. They're surprised if we have internet here and indoor bathrooms. <laughs> Colorado people? Oh, yeah. I mean, hotty toddies out there. They I think they're high society. Mm, some mountain men out there. Buckle up, folks. Put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Tim in Minnesota want to know if C.J. Stroud had declared yes. The Ohio State quarterback has declared he'll be off to the NFL after this year. We're back here from Fred Hoiberg next hour. Come on back. 
us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. Husker students on the debate team and Bateman competition public relations team earned national championships this past year, marking a first for each program. The debate team claimed victory with one of the youngest teams in the country, while the Bateman competition public relations team won their championship by building a PR campaign for the Lymphoma Research Foundation. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. Credit Ohio State for running at her. Here's Shelly. Fastball underneath. Maggie Mendelson kicks it out to Callen. Hank for three. You betcha. Off the assist from Maggie Mendelson. Freshman to freshman. Maggie had a layup and got the three in Nebraska within 12. Sunday. Husker Hoops on the women's side starts with pregame coverage with Matt Cotney and Jeff Greech beginning at 12.45 p.m. against Maryland. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic.
Good evening. I'm Greg Sharp. Our sports ticker brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. It's a busy weekend for Husker sports. Gets going in about an hour as the Husker wrestling squad is in Iowa City to face number two, Iowa. The match begins at 8. It'll be televised on BTN. Husker men's basketball is off to Penn State to tangle with the Nittany Lions tomorrow. Tip-off set for 115. Pre-game coverage at 1215 with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheiser. The women will play Sunday at 1 at PBA against nationally ranked Maryland. The Huskers won that first matchup against the Terps back in December. Husker swimming, track and field, rifle, men's tennis, women's gym, all will be competing at home tomorrow. And the men's gymnastics team on the road at the Rocky Mountain Open. The University of Michigan announced today that they have fired co-offensive coordinator Matt Weiss who was under investigation by university police for a report of computer access crimes. Weiss has been with the Michigan program for two years. Our sports ticker again, sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour two of Sports Highly, straight ahead. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. I believe that like, I want to, I want to help guys get better. And so to do that, you have to have players who want that, who want to wake up every day and just work and grind. And so um, that's all really important to me. Uh, if we have the core of our team that's like that, we'll be hard to beat. Side for Walker's get past left side. Bryden Baca Wiltshire puts it up. Got it! Three ball. CJ Wiltshire, another CBA three. That ball was just popping around. Just great movement. Shelly to throw it in baseline left. Into Markowski. Back to Jazz. Three. Butter shoot. Betcha. In the deep left corner. Off the screen assist from Markowski. Walker in the back court will bring it across the line with a pass to Gary. Gary attacks the rim. Jamble with a right hand. A tomahawk dunk by Gary and the Huskers with a 41 to 24 lead and there is our first interstate bank play of the game. Ford series for Nebraska. Hyvie around a Mendelssohn screen. Deep right side Izzy Ford's three. Yeah! Betcha! That's a Central Valley egg three from Izzy Ford. Off the assist from Hyvie. Stand up Husker fans. This is a great win for Nebraska. They knock off previously undefeated Kansas. Their second win over a top 20 team this year. And the Huskers in three overtimes defeat Kansas 85 to 79 tonight in Lincoln. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. We're back. Our final hour of the night, final hour of the week here on Sports Island as we uh, get you set for another weekend. As I mentioned in the ticker, busy, busy weekend for Husker sports. A lot of the winter and now even some of the spring sports starting to get cranked up with tennis and, um, well, I, I almost kind of consider gym being a spring sport because their championships don't happen until April. So really busy time. And uh, so if you're in and around the Lincoln area, a lot of opportunities for you to come see a track and field meet or swimming or women's gym tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. And then obviously the women will be here on Sunday. Do you ever play tennis? I did. Played a lot of tennis. Really? Kind of a tennis nerd. Hmm. I never played. Never. So Coach Miami, was, who's coming in later in the hour, I'm going to have to ask him about the Australian Open because I've been up staying up late some of these nights watching some of these matches that go into the wee hours. Yeah, I mean, I, I went to a small school. There was no tennis court, so I just – it was never a sport that I played. I played more tennis than I did golf. See, now I'm, I play more golf than tennis because I'm too old to play tennis. But. Obviously, my dad's a golf, like, junkie, and he's a he, – there was a golf course closer than there was a tennis court. Yeah. So I grew up on the golf course, actually, and I did not play any the, tennis. Well, the problem, Jessica, with tennis, you, you need to find somebody who's close to your skill level to hit with. Because if somebody's way better than you, you're not going to get it. And if somebody can't return the ball back to you, then you don't feel like you're getting. So you've got to find somebody who's kind of your equal. And that's hard to do sometimes. I've been told it's a great workout, though. Oh, my God. It's fantastic. Like, I was in great shape when I played a lot. But now I'm fat. <laughs> so, uh, other guys that are in good shape are basketball players. And Fred Hoiberg met with the media today before they took off for Penn State, road game tomorrow, and coming off the victory over Ohio State. And as we mentioned in the program last night, I was so impressed with that game because Nebraska won a game without getting a big night from Derek Walker. And Fred talked today about Derek needs to try to stay out of foul trouble because that's not a great formula for Nebraska. Game in and game out is having Derek in foul trouble. 
Yeah, it's it's huge. And Derek is, you know, how important he is to our team. But he's had situations where he's gotten himself in foul trouble. And, you know, we're going to have to have lineups out there that can go help us get through that time when Derek's on the bench. And, you know, I think we scored four straight when Derek went out. And we tried different lineups. We went small. And obviously, Key was having his way and some different high-low actions. So then we went big with Oleg. And that's hard. It's hard to do when you sit for you know 30 plus minutes and then have to go out and be asked to make a big impact and you saw you saw Oleg with no fear he went in that first possession drove it right to the basket on a nice seam had a really good dive uh, into the gap and then had a, a really good strong finish so it's just you know it's what it's all about for those guys is being ready when your name's called and um, you know Denim played a different role than, than he's had and, and was very impactful in that win. Jamarcus gave us great minutes and CJ and Casey in new roles I thought gave us great minutes as well. So just it, it's what it's all about and I thought that was about you know you talk a lot about a, t a total team win and I think that game against Ohio State was exactly what it was. Everybody that stepped on the floor scored. Everybody contributed in their own way and we had to have it obviously in a uh, in a one possession game. There a lot in that answer <laughs> to to talk about there's like four different kind of things that he hit on but I do want to go back to to Derek being in foul trouble. I mean, he's got to be better about yeah. getting in foul trouble because it hurts the team but then it also hurts him. He has a hard time when he doesn't have a rhythm getting going, getting himself going. And I don't know if it's cuz then he plays hesitant or you know, he, he he needs to have a good start, you know, and then um he he's got to be better about not getting in foul trouble cuz this team needs him to play well and make an impact. And they found a way to win the other night, but it's going to be hard to do that consistently without him playing. His fifth foul was totally on him. He totally lowered his shoulder. You, and you got to know this. you got to know, I got four fouls. I can't be that aggressive on the offensive end. Uh, what do you think of Casey starting? You like that? I do. I do. We, we've talked about that the other night. I, I like that. You know, he's. I think he's such a team guy, and the team loves him. And so, um, you know, Whatever, if you can get him going early too, that helps the team because they they kind of feed off of him as well. Um, I also like you know what he said about Oleg because it did it took everybody and we had talked about how if before we were on the air the other day if we would have told us what the lineup that was on the floor at the end of the game we would no have way. been a little bit worried. But the fact that Oleg was able to come in without Blaze and Derek being in foul trouble and and the way that Denim Dawson stepped up, I just I, I was so impressed with how they found a way to win when. You know, there's again so many things not going the right way. I mean, even Fred getting a T, which doesn't happen. First time in Nebraska that he's had a technical foul. He's like him and Lime Kruger are like the same. Like they just they're don't get that. I mean, they're gonna let you know, but they don't push it that far, you know. And so, um, yeah, I was. There was a lot of things that were uh, kind of not going their way, and they found a way to overcome it. On to Penn State now. The Nittany Lions have had a nice year. They're, they're a team that's on the rise, playing some good basketball. They've got a player by the name of Jalen Pickett, who is a transfer from Siena, who's given them a huge boost scoring the basketball. Here's Coach Hoiberg talking about Pickett and the challenges of the Lions for tomorrow. Yeah, Pickett is he's one of the top players not only in our league but in the country and he's so versatile. He's the guy that they're posting and you know they're just looking for matchups. If they don't think you can guard him, they're just gonna say we're gonna pick on you and we're gonna take you down to the post or we're gonna get you on the perimeter and drive it past and see what you do as far as help and making adjustments. So um, you know, just his back downs in transition, they run a lot of the old pistol action where they get him coming off and get him in the post on a back down with shooting. They, their top five scorers are all shooting over thirty nine percent from three. And I think they're 42% as a team in league play, which is unbelievable. So, um, you know, it all starts with Pickett. If he can get a matchup that, that they like and you have to come and help and dig, he's finding those shooters, averaging almost eight assists uh, per game, eight rebounds, and, uh, you know, a very good scorer of the basketball. So just really impressed with him. And, and, I, and I, think, uh, I think Micah does a great job getting him in positions where he can use his strengths. So Pickett will be a, a guy to keep an eye on tomorrow for the Huskers. He'll be number one on the scouting report for the, for the team as they get going. This team, the Huskers have had some good luck on the road. Of course, they won at Minnesota a couple of weeks ago. They won at Creighton early in the season. So they have two true road wins. And, you know, if you want to be a postseason team, you've got to pick off some games on the road. So here's the coach talking about the challenges of life on the road in the Big Ten Conference.
So no no comment there from from Fred Hoiberg. Couldn't get that cut to play. But I, I, this team does play. Pre- I thought they played pretty well at Purdue last week, even though they didn't have Sam or Juwan. They at least battled their way on the road. Yeah, they've had some some decent performances. I mean, I think even um, when they went to Michigan State, while they couldn't get it going offensively, I don't think Fred was totally disappointed in no. that effort because he had talked about how Michigan State they uh, it was almost exactly the same game plan as what they had with Iowa and, and kind of forcing them to take those mid-range jumpers and that's what they were giving up and that, and Michigan State was just on fire there to start and then they it's so hard to get back this team just cannot get in that big of holes because they just don't shoot it well enough to get back out of it so I don't think he was totally disappointed in how they played at Michigan State either and then they fought back at yeah. least you know some in the second half too so they haven't backed down from from those fights there. Hey, folks, join the Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra, and Bex Hybrids in packing PBA on February 18th for the women's basketball game against Iowa. Coach Williams and the team want all of Husker Nation there to take on our rival from the east. You can purchase tickets at huskers.com. All right, uh, 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program here on a Friday night. Again, the men, Penn State tomorrow, 1-15, 12-15 for pregame coverage. The women will play on Sunday at 1 o'clock at PBA against Maryland, a top 15 team. Huskers beat them earlier in the year on the road uh, as they won. And then Huskers got that win at Purdue the other night. So the women have a couple of road wins. To get a resume that is at least looked at by committees to get into postseason play, you have to win a couple games away from home. And both the men and women have been able to do that. The women got one earlier in the week, and the men will have a chance tomorrow. But you just can't win your home games and get in the tournament. They're going to go, well, the tournament's not in your arena. You better go win some games away from home. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, that... Um, eight nine matchup is so hard, and it is. and that's what they you know that's what they landed last year. And so if you can find a way to get off that seating, it is just such a tough draw. Um, you know, so they they got they got some work to do, but they absolutely have the opportunities in front of them to build a good enough resume to move off that seed to maybe move up a little bit and um you know it starts on sunday this is a team they just beat they've beaten they beat handily yeah they did. and so Crushed them. they have the recipe and and uh was did allison play in that game she, she was, did yeah she did but sam didn't I don't think Sam was ready to play yet. Sam, I don't think Sam played, but out, so it, Widener got hurt in the Kansas game a couple weeks. They were later. still out. Yeah, uh, Sam. They, yeah, yeah. They still weren't full strength against Maryland, and uh, again, know they won't be this week either. But you know, so uh, this team loves to play in PBA. They love to play in PBA, so they need to come and, and try to protect home court again here on Sunday. It's gonna be a fun full weekend of basketball around the Big Ten, around the country. A lot of great games. There's one on. We got one on in the studio tonight. Villanova. St. John's playing in the Big East. Hey, our sports nightly hotline. It's brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands, a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Going to change gears for the next summer. We're talking men's tennis. Husker men's tennis season begins tomorrow. The Creighton Blue Jays will be visiting the Dillon Tennis Center. We're going to hear from Husker coach Sean Miami. That's coming up next. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. For the fifth straight year, the University of Nebraska system is a top 100 patent earning institution. NU system researchers were granted 43 patents in 2021, with UNL researchers named as inventors on 25 of these patents. Husker patents include three projects with partners at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and six patents for a surgical robot developed by faculty in the College of Engineering. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Woodhouse Nissan makes car buying easy, enjoyable, and stress-free. We will bring the dealership to your driveway with Nissan at home. You can shop, drive, and buy a new or pre-owned Nissan all from the comfort of your own home. Explore every aspect of the purchasing process at your pace and convenience. 
Get real pricing on your vehicle of choice, review lease and financing options, and complete a credit application. Get to your next adventure faster with Woodhouse Nissan. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. When you're a fan, you wear your team's jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. After a win, your world glistens. Lose, and the hurt permeates your soul. You'll always have a place with us in the Cox Fan Zone, where everyone can play and connect with other fans in a big group hug. See, in the Fan Zone, you're not some crazy fan. You're home. Hey, Husker fans, this is Greg Sharp, voice of the Huskers. Say Fan Zone into your Contour Voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit cox.com slash fan zone. Go Huskers! Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. When you raise food corn for CVA, you can earn an additional $25,000 per quarter section. That's $100,000 more profit for every four quarters you farm. Do the same work, raise more profit. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how you can get up to a $5,000 signing bonus with a value-added grain contract at cvacoop.com. Central Valley A, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Hey, everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kid's meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores where right now kids can eat free. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. It's on our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. We have mentioned a couple times during the week about how we're adding some sports that are getting their seasons underway, one of those being men's tennis. I'm glad to have Sean Miami here, the head coach of the Corn Huskers, to talk about their, his team that starts on Saturday against the Creighton Blue Jays. Seems a little odd. Got snow uh, on the on the ground outside, and here we go with with tennis getting going. But I'm sure you and your team are ready. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We, you know, they've been training hard and, and excited to get going, and, and we have a beautiful indoor facility, so we're we're not going to be affected by the elements at all. Um, we keep it nice and nice and cozy in there, and the guys are fired up to get it going. Coach, let's go back to fall. What did you learn about your group in the fall, and how productive was that for you? Well, if we could even take it one step further and go go to the summer, because so the guys did a lot of work over the summer on their own and, and did a lot of tournaments, a lot of winning, and I think that translated into the fall. So that allowed us to have a have a pretty successful fall. It is very individual, so you know some guys are doing a little bit better than others, but. For the most part, we're just trying to push forward, get better every day, and, and improve. And we had a couple great results on the, on the court. Um, one of our players ended up being ranked nationally um, after the fall. Um, and we've got a couple other guys that are right, right there as well. So we're pretty excited. How do you balance getting better, doing maybe some off-season type training to get stronger and that type of thing, and yet stay sharp? on the court how do you balance that between say late october and now yeah for sure um so each guy has a 
individual plan, and and we approach this. We're certain we are a team sport, and, and tennis is a team sport, and it's played um, during the dual matches as a team sport. But each guy is, has some individual things that they need to improve and get better at, and so each guy has an individual plan that, that we end up attacking, and, and that's where we do the most of our work is in the fall. Um, during the spring, we're spending most of our time, you know, getting prepared or, or recovering from a match, and then getting prepared for the next match. So, the fall is actually more fun as a coach when we can help them get better. The spring is, is more competitive, and, and that brings its element of excitement as well. Busy with Husker men's tennis coach Sean Miami here on Sports Highly. You open with Creighton. Are you set with your lineup? How, and, and how is it still fluid? Or do you, are you feel like you're locked in with your yeah. one, twos, and threes? Yeah, we're, we're, we're not set. I, I would say that. We've been going back and forth with myself and, and my assistant. We've been kind of, you know, bouncing some, some different ideas off. And, and it'll change. It always changes. I've, as a coach, I've been coaching for 20 some years and I've never gotten it right as far as the first day, it's not the same as the last day. And that's because of a number of things. One guy gains more confidence, one guy gets injured or sick or whatever and different opportunities come up. So um, we always tell the guys they got to be ready to go and, and they are. We feel like we have nine guys that are ready to contribute and that makes my job a little tougher, but that's that's okay. That's a good good problem to have. Some of our, our folks locally will remember Will Gleason. He's a local Lincoln product. He's been on your team for a couple years. How's he been? He's been great. He's been a really good leader for us the last couple of years. He's really stepped up. So Will has been here for five years. Wow. He's been here. So when I got the job, um, he was a, a freshman um, and I didn't recruit Will, um, but been really lucky to have him on our squad. And, and he knows probably more of what I'm looking for than, than anyone. And so he's, he's a captain of the team, him along with um, Ronnie, um, another, he's a sophomore on our team. So those guys are doing a great job with the leadership and just having a guy that, that's been around the block is, is a good thing. No doubt. How, all right, tell us about some names that we're gonna be hearing in the coming months with this team. Who, who are some of the, gonna be some of your, your cornerstones for this group? Yeah, for sure. I mean, so the sophomore that I mentioned, it's our, um, it's our Co-captain Ronnie Hitrinta is from um, Finland, okay. and he he ended the year so he's 75 in the country, um, and as a sophomore we feel like that's a pretty good move in the right direction. He made a good good jump. Um, he had a great year last year. He won over 20 matches um, for us, so he's he's really established himself as one of the one of our top players. Um, he's got a great work ethic and and does a lot of things the right way. Um, and then after that, we've got, we've got some guys that have played towards the top of our lineup over the last couple years. Uh, Shuya Mariyama is from Japan, and he's steadily improving and, and established himself as one of our better players. Calvin Mueller is from Germany, who had to play towards the top last year and, and took his lumps, but also had a couple good wins toward the end of the year. We felt like he was turning it around. And, so, um, and then we've just added a player from Argentina who got here. He just got here a few weeks ago, uh, mid-year. And... He's a great recruit for us. He's going to do really good things for us. Great guy, um, comes from a great family, and we're excited to have him on campus. How do you, do you let people play both singles and doubles? What, what's your philosophy as a coach about that? A lot of people think playing doubles really helps your singles game. Some maybe don't feel that as much. Where do you come yeah. down on that? No, I think it does. I mean, the more they have more well-rounded game, they're able to do and problem solve a bit more throughout the match, you know? So, you know, you may have a great game from the baseline, but if, if you match up against another guy who's just as good, if not a little bit better, what, what's going to be the X factor? And if you can come to the net and maybe exploit some things, then, then it helps you. Um, so we try to try to teach an all round game, um, teach them aggressive style and doubles helps with that. So I like the guys. I mean, we really play the guys that end up showing the best individual skills in, in doubles and in singles, and we try and match them up. But like I said, it gets mixed up here and there. Each guy's get different opportunities. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting year with the doubles lineup. You open with Creighton, 5 o'clock at the Dillon Tennis Center on Saturday, and then you're going to South Carolina. As you look at the schedule for the coming months, what, what excites you? What, what kind of gets your blood going? Yeah, I think it's just the amount of um, ranked opportunities that we have on our schedule. Um, and a lot of, they only preseason rank 25, but if you look at last year's ranking, that usually gives you a good idea of where some of the teams are at. And we've got a lot of ranked opportunities in front of us and, and challenging. 
um, matches. So that's only going to make us better and prepare us for Big Ten play, which is as good as it gets. You know, we've got there's a couple teams in our league that are are top five. We've got two teams ranked top five in the country, and, and they're going to do great. You know, so coach people who love tennis are fired up this week because we got a major going yeah, on down under right. in Australia in a late night television viewing or even early morning in the case of an Andy Murray match that would never end the other day. And the Americans are. Pop it up a little bit. There's some 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 little power coming from the American men. Finally, yeah. this is a good sign. Yeah, they're coming in waves. They've, they've got a lot of them um, out there, and it's great. I mean, it's great to see. And and those guys are are a good group. They they support each other, and you can tell like on the tour how they help each other out and actually cheer for each other. So it's kind of a neat thing to see them kind of with the success. Um, so we'll see how how deep they can go. But yeah, I think there's I think it's open. You know, certainly you know with the doll losing, and then I mean Djokovic is is got his stranglehold at the top, but yeah. I mean, hey, why not? Anyone else can, can kind of jump in there. What's it, it's been, I think you have to go back to Andy Roddick, right? The last American male to win a major, so yeah. it's been a long, long time. Jack Sock is a Lincoln guy. Does he get back to town at all? Do you, does he ever come by the tennis center? You know what? I haven't... I haven't seen him in Lincoln much. I've done some some stuff where I've been on the tour and, and maybe been at a place recruiting or I was helping out um, a player of mine that I coach, uh, Jackson Withrow, who I help out. And so I saw Jack at the at the U.S. Open. And, yeah, he's always connected to Nebraska, loves right. Nebraska, and so does so does Jackson and so does a lot of, the, a lot of people. Anyone that comes through here um, really loves uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. We've got a guy. So UCF is coming in town. Okay. And UCF is coached by John Roddick, who, you know, the Roddick family is yeah. from, from Nebraska Omaha. as well. Yeah. yeah, so Andy and John. John grew up mostly here. Andy spent a lot of time in Florida growing up. But John's excited to get back to Lincoln, and hopefully we'll have a good crowd for that match. And um, he's done great things. He's, done, he's been amazing, one of the top coaches in college for a long time. So John's, John's great. Fantastic. Well, great to catch up with you and get caught up on your team. 5 o'clock, Saturday, Creighton. You'd love to have some people come out and cheer you on, I'm sure. Would love to. It, it, it makes the experience so much better for the, for the student-athletes. And, and obviously, they can make a difference in the match. I mean, when, when you get a good crowd, they can really get behind you and help support you, and, and our guys will rise to the level. So, you know, our fans make a big difference in, in our sport. I mean, I think they do in all the sports, but if you get a good crowd and, and good support, like, it's going to be great. So we're, we're trying to reach out into the community and trying to get as many people out. We've talked to a lot of people over at some different tennis communities trying to get them to come, but... The more, the merrier. I think they'll enjoy. I think they'll enjoy the, the fight from our guys, the competitiveness, and they represent the, the University of Nebraska unbelievably well. Coach, thank you. Keep us posted on how the season's going. Absolutely. Thank you. John Miami with us here on Sports Night. Buckle up, put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More of the show coming up next. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Have you come to a decision yet, sir? Well, I like the sports car. It is fun. I also love the truck. E yes, sir. And the SUV is beautiful. Definitely. If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Well, I think we'll take it. It? Um, which one, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean the dealership. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Got it. Huskers have come from seven down to tie it up at 26. They've got the basketball. Greasel passes up behind him to Walker, drives the ball against Garcia. Got it up and down. And there we have our play of the game right there, the come from behind layup by Walker. Saturday, Husker Hoops on the men's side starts with pregame coverage with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheising beginning at 12-15 against Penn State. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Your story, it lives in the capital city where we take Nebraska nice to another level and we always show up for Go Big Red. In your story, a pioneering spirit has built a community that cares. Your story is the story of Lincoln, told by those who live it and love it. Whether that's breaking news from the Capitol or sending you to the best shows in town. And here in the Lincoln Journal Star is where it comes to life. Lincoln Journal Star, where your story lives. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Your story, it lives in River City where you can enjoy a metropolitan vibe and a small town feel, where we set the standard for service and looking out for one another, where there's so much more than steak in our thriving food scene. Your story is the story of Omaha, told by those who live it and love it. Whether that's helping you keep up with the Cornhuskers or creating the content you crave. And here in the Omaha World Herald is where it comes to life. Omaha World Herald, where your story lives. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It is a Friday night. Sports out of here on the Huskers Radio Network. If you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text, 402-413-413. 2400. Great to talk some tennis with Coach Miami. We wish them good luck tomorrow against the Creighton Blue Jays over the Dillon Tennis Center. Let's go to the phones. Tim in Minnesota has been hanging on through the break. Good evening, Tim. Good evening. Hey, um, I was listening uh, just kind of to whet my appetite, you know, during the off season and even a little bit during the season um, to some of my favorite Nebraska games of the past. Uh, especially, you know, besides besides you, one of my favorite um, uh, announcers would have to be Kent when he was doing football. Um, and I've been able to find the Colorado game of '94 and the uh, Orange Bowl of '94, but also <clears throat> and to get you know, and then to be able to hear you, I, I've been listening to North that Northwestern catch with both you. Hearing the contrast with you and Matt, and then first hearing the Northwestern guys, so that's that's a lot of fun. But uh, all that kind of really made me nostalgic um, thinking about Nebraska's defense. And Matt, Coach Rule has been talking about um, the um, about about uh, you know winning the line of scrimmage, was, which is obviously huge. But you know the thing that really made a big difference besides size, you know, was the speed to which we switched. And so I'd be really interested to hear what Coach Rule has 
to say about that. That's one thing. But also, in listening to those games, it reminded me of a question I'm sure Jessica has probably asked us in her interviews, and I think it's always a good question to ask um, in those human interest things, is, is who would you like to meet or talk to um, if they're if they're living, and, and or if they they are no longer living, who who would they would have liked to meet and talk to, um, and uh, so the name that comes to my mind in all this context would be of course Keith Jackson. So but the main thing is Nebraska's defense. Okay. Speed. All right, Tim. Appreciate. It. Thanks for the phone call. Yeah, you know, I don't know that Coach Rural has probably a great feel on the current team with their speed, but I I guarantee you he would think that they've got to be a fast group. I, you know, I think Nebraska has adequate speed, Jessica. And I, you know, Trey Palmer certainly was a burner, and we beat so many people down the field. But I think Nebraska's DBs run pretty well. I, I think Nebraska's got adequate team speed yeah. right now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, how much do we hear about, you know, Tommy Hill has speed, which I know he got flipped to wide receiver. But, yeah. you know, they, Mark, uh, the Quentin Newsom is fast. He is. Um, Miles Farmer not, is not as fast, but he's big and, and can hit so hard. But, the, like, the corners both are, are fast. Um, Malcolm Hartsock can move. Yeah, he, he's, he he's fast. Well. Yeah. yeah. The, I mean, I think they've got some speed. And, you know, and as far as the guys that they're bringing in, I think Ethan Nation is one of those guys that probably has great speed. He was one of those guys who committed – uh, during one of those all-star games in the first of the year, I'm looking at some Luke of the Luke Reimer has speed. Luke Reimer's one of the faster linebackers you have. I mean, yeah. he's he's fast, and he's always been fast. That's one thing about him, that he's always been on the football field, that they've noted that he just flies around. And I remember when Barrett Rood was talking about how they saw him play, because he played eight-man football for a long time and, and was – not recruited and they when Luke came up to a camp and they just his speed just flew off I mean it was flew off the film how fast he was so I, he, he can move to Isaac Gifford's pretty fast he's very fast so and Jojo was so. fast yeah yeah uh the the Baylor transfer Josh is it fleeks, Fle- fleeks or fleeks I, I think it's fleeks fleeks He's fast. I know he's fast. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. But he's a fast kid. So, yeah, absolutely. And then the two track guys that they're bringing in, on like, they say, I mean, Bryce Turner is one of the fastest kids in track and field right now. I mean, he is one of the most highly touted kids, sprinters, to be recruited. Jalen Lloyd from up in Omaha. And then Jalen Lloyd. Both of those guys are so fast. So, Tim, that's probably your biggest lean for Matt Rule is they went and got two guys – that they got, and Lloyd and Bryce Turner. I just was talking more so specifically defense. Yeah. But, yeah, they've got some speed coming in for that, sure. So like they, that That's one of the things you hear them talk a lot about. A lot about. Speed is very, very important. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, NFL playoffs. This will be fun this weekend. You got the four, you got eight teams left, four games. Should be some really good games. Yes, I am. Who do you like? I got the Bengals Here's. and Eagles. But that's okay. who my Super Bowl pick. That's is. your Super Bowl pick because you, your earlier one did not. Yes, pro, it didn't I mean again, I was very well. no, it definitely did not. It, did not it didn't do a very good job. But hey, we we did that on a fly on a September night before the season started, and so. And I was trying not to pick what everybody else picked. Well, and I'm I'm glad so and so is not here tonight to kind of shout out his Cowboys. Cowboys pick. But I think the Cowboys go down this weekend. I think San Francisco ends the Cowboys season. I think it. I, look, I'm for. I th- am for San Francisco and You Brock have Purdy. a history of the Cowboys. You were sending us pictures and Cowboy jerseys. Oh, you're going to bring that up already? I was going to wait. Uh, no, I I don't know. I Yeah, I wore a Cowboys jersey when I was little, and I have a picture when I was yeah. little wearing a Cowboys jersey. Uh, but I just don't think they beat San Francisco. I, think- I, I, I mean, because I love the whole tie with Brock Purdy and Mr. Irrelevant, what he's done, and they've got some talent on that team, but... It's also so funny. It's so fun with the Cowboys because it's so much drama all the time. All the time. So it's like uh, I kind of want them to stick around because it's uh, pretty dramatic. I, I just, I, 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 I'm picking. I think I'm with you. I'm pulling for the Bengals, but I think the Bills win. I think the Chiefs win. I think the Eagles win. And I think the Niners win. I think that's your final four. Should be good games, though. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm just, you know what, it's, I'm not going with who I think. I'm going with who I want. So that's what I want. The Bengals, a lot of Husker fans are going to jump on the Bengals because of Zach. Cam Tater-Britt has had a terrific year. Stanley Morgan's on their team as well. 
So there's a lot of Husker ties with the Bengals. Yes. Yep. And I like the Eagles because I just, I mean, I'm, well, Cam Jurgens is there, and I've told you that there are some guys that I worked with at Oklahoma, and so Jalen Hurts and some guys there. So I like the, the teams that have a lot of players that I've worked with in the past. That's who I'm going for, and that's the Eagles and the Bengals. Jessica. I like it now because there's like, now that there's Huskers and Sooners on both, you, you know? You have a lot like, of people to choose from. So. I am pleasantly surprised that Cam Tater Britt has made the impact that he has in year one. I am not. You're I am not. not. Now, I, I was a little concerned when he got hurt at the end of training camp. Um, but, boy, he's just so... He refuses to hear the word no or that he's not, it's True. not your turn or you're not good enough right now. I mean, boy, he just gets in there and fights. He's not scared. He's going to match up with anybody. I mean, you heard him talking about how he's going to match up with the wide receivers that the Bengals have, which are studs. Stars. I mean, he just is not scared. He's, um, he loves the game. Boy, I don't know if I've ever talked to anybody who loves being out on the football field as much as Cam Taylor Britt. And, you know, he just, he's going to be well-liked in the locker room. I just, I knew he was going to go in there and put up a fight. And he, he showed some flashes of being really, really good. I, I mean, I think probably he's grown tremendously his game since being at that level too and, and matching up. I mean, Jeremiah talks about it all the, all the time is once you get to that level and you're, what you're going up against in practice every day, it's you only get better every single day. So I think he's probably like grown tremendously, obviously, since he, he got there. There's a guy on the current team that reminds me of the love of football, like Cam Taylor Britt, and it's Marquise Buford. Yep. He's another guy who just can't get enough of it. I think this coaching staff, and I think that Evan Cooper's probably already discovered that, that gets, Marquise he, is going to be right in his face all the time. He's learning. a guy, he's, he's impossible not to like. Yep. And he just, boy, it's, and it's so contagious. It's just one of those, you know, you, you talk about, um, Coach Rule was talking about uh, Omar and even Evan, about how contagious they are and, and the personality. Marquise is like that. I mean, his personality is absolutely, it's contagious. I mean, he's smiling all the time. You want to hear from him. It's just, it's, he lights up a room when he walks into it. And yeah, he loves being out there on the field. And um, I, I think he's going to respond really well coming off the injury, but I think he's, he has got some talent. I can't wait to see how he continues to develop. So tomorrow, you've got the Chiefs and the Jags get it going at 3.30, the night game. I think this is going to be a really good game. It's the Giants and the Eagles. The Giants impressed the heck out of me last week. They played so well against the Vikings. Then Sunday, it's game one is Buffalo, Cincinnati, followed by the Cowboys and the 49ers. And Dallas looked great. Dallas played really, really well last they week. They did. They they did. And even despite the kicking issues, they, they look good. And you were afraid. You thought that Tom Brady would find some magic. I did. I thought there might. But once he threw the pick, you're going, it's over. Yeah. So, but... Dak's got some weapons. He, I mean, he's got some weapons. He does. And I think Dak is so, people hate on him so much, but boy, I mean. I don't know why. He, I think he's fine. I think he's a super nice guy, but also, like, I mean, hey, he's finding ways to get it done. I mean, it might not be pretty all the time, but. Jim in the chat room says, anybody but Dallas. Anybody but Dallas. I, I mean, I don't like the Cowboys, but I think it's hilarious. Like, it just provides <laughs> for just, I mean, just straight up reality television drama is what Dallas provides. Does it not? I mean, Jer we're going to have Jerry Jones all the time. It's just going to make everybody like dislike them even more now that they're like back in the yeah. playoff conversation. And then now we're hearing more of them and all of that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think either way that that storyline on that side, I, I'm fine with it with the 49ers or the Cowboys. Yeah. 49ers, whoa, man, they're good. They're really good. Hey, First Interstate Bank, built for you. Learn more at www.firstinterstatebank.com, member FDIC. We have winners and losers to reveal tonight. And, folks, we have an addition to the Husker Radio Network team. We'll introduce you to that gentleman next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. 
Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. UNL has been awarded over $14 million by the U.S. Department of Commerce to expand robotics research and teaching spaces, part of a $25 million award given to the state of Nebraska to advance robotics research. The funding will allow the university to educate and train the next generation of Nebraska workers, entrepreneurs, and innovators for careers of the future. Nebraska 811 says go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. Break Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you. Final segment of the night and week. Mentioned going into the break, we have a new addition here the Oscars Radio Network team. Delighted to welcome this week Cole Hartman, who had been doing some part time work for us for the last 15, 16 months, is now a full time producer for us. He's, in fact, running the show with us tonight. How nice is it to have Cole with us? Yes. Cole, welcome. Hello. Thanks <laughs> Thanks for having me. Hey, you were <laughs> on, you came on with me in the summer when Greg was out because he's been an intern, so you might have heard, heard his voice before. You did the ticker, right? Yeah. Once or twice. We're yes. going to have you do that again. You're back in the rotation because yep. Andrew refuses to he do does. it. Andrew's a little scaredy cat at times. <laughs> Nicole, you're, you're from Lincoln, correct? From Lincoln. Grew up in Lincoln, South Lincoln, went to Southwest High School, then went to UNL, really just Nebraska through and through. Good. And uh, graduated, and now I'm part of the team. Fun fact about Cole, he produced all the Spanish broadcasts football. for our football broadcast this year. Do you speak any Spanish? Sé un poco español, pero no mucho. I speak a little bit of Spanish? Okay. Is that what you just said? I, I speak a little, not much, yes. So great to have you a part of this, and we'll look forward to hearing you on some tickers down the road. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. And you ran it tonight without Andrew here, so you passed that test. In fact, I think it maybe was smoother without Andrew, kind of hovering over your shoulders, right? I mean, <laughs> Andrew could be an intimidating guy. So good to have Scary. you here, Cole. He's Yes. <laughs> Appreciate having you uh, part of the team and great to have you here. And I know uh, all of our broadcasters are excited to have you here working with us. All right, time for winners and losers. What's on your mind here? All right, well, I'm going to start with my loser. We just kind of talked about it, but Tom Brady, I mean, he should have, I don't think he should have came back this year. And then we, we talked all, we led into last Monday night's game about how great the weekend was. What was and the worst game? That one. Was Tom Brady. And I just, he looked like he looked he defeated. And it's like you're talking about the, the greatest quarterback to ever play yep. the game. And he's ruining yep. his legacy. I agree. Get, just hang it up and let us appreciate what you did. And, and don't keep trying to force what doesn't need to be happening and I, I don't know he it's just 45 at years some old. point father time's gonna win you gotta let him win like sorry but uh i just it was not a fun game to watch of all the how how great all of the other games were i thought that was just it was not enjoyable for me and it just was cr it was it was cringy yeah it was cringy yeah to watch them go down what 18 nothing then 27 nothing it just no um my winner is denim dawson i'm so happy for him and cool. and 
the for men's basketball and just to see the way that his teammates responded about the way he came out and played in the win the other night against Ohio State when they needed it, they had to have him. I mean, Jawan Gary is out, Denham comes in, he has some incredible shots, some completely momentum swinging shots. He plays just great and continues to play good every single night. Hopefully, he continues to build off of it, but they could not have won that game without him the other night. I'm thinking along the same way. I've got a men's basketball player, but I've, and I'm going to need some help from you on the backstory of this. But Sam Griesel is my winner for the week. He gutted, came back from the hip injury, gutted his way through the game the other night, made some big free throws down the stretch. And he has made a connection with a young man who's fighting some health issues. And you've done a, a story that we're going to have on a future television show coming up. Fill in some of the gaps on that story. Yeah, so Blake is um, Sam's friend. They met when Blake was in the hospital at in uh, South Dakota, North Dakota. I think it's... What? No, where did Sam play? North Dakota State. I always get him and Maddie Kroll confused. North Dakota State. North Dakota State. Yes. And so North Dakota State up there, and, um, you know, it was just kind of a one-time visit, and then they had a connection and got really close. And when Sam transferred, that was kind of one of the things that he was hesitant about was he was really worried about not being close to him. But as fate would have it, um, Blake needed to begin treatments here in Omaha. But he's got all kinds of health issues. And, and when you see him and you meet Blake, you wouldn't know. But he's he's had some really tough times and some really tough health issues. In fact, he had surgery today, another surgery up there in Omaha at UNMC. And uh, I was told that the, the last thing he said before he went under, anesthesia-wise, for this procedure, he was talking about Sam Griesel and the Huskers basketball team. And awesome. so it just the way that it's given him some hope and something to look forward to and he told me I went out to practice he was at practice the other day and he told me that he said I'm gonna be at the game on Tuesday given all my surgery goes well and I can get out of the hospital in time so he's planning on being back on Tuesday wow. so hopefully he can bring back that magic again that is fantastic so Sam Griesel with all that influence in a young guy who's fighting some health issues that is fantastic so he's my winner my loser have folks have you seen this slap game that's going on. Dana White, who is big in UFC, has got this slap league, and they're going to televise these things. This is brutal. You t two people stand across from each other on a table, and they slap each other. I mean, people are, like, getting knocked out. It is vicious. Cole's over here giggling. You might, do you like this? You cannot like this thing. No, I don't like it, but when I When did they seen start it. this? Was it after? Go to Twitter and just do slap league. It is brutal, Jessica. I, I mean... Did they start this after his... Video came out that he didn't. I mean, there is a league, and they're they're going to start televising these league matches of these people that slap each other. I mean, people oh get. Oh my goodness! It's awful. So this is my loser of the week. Why people think this is entertaining stuff and would pay to watch it or pay to be a part of it? It is awful. So that is my loser of the week. Oh. It's terrible, Jessica, just terrible. Don't look it up, people. Don't look it up. Well, I've been a lot of people have seen it because it's been all over social media the last couple of days, oh these people that my. do this thing. So that's my loser of the week. And it is sports-related. Dana White, who is, again, big in UFC, all those type of things. Ugh, bad stuff. What a show. What a week. What a weekend coming up. And, again, if you're around the Lincoln area, a lot of opportunities to, for you to go watch swim, track and field, women's gym, men's tennis, all, women's basketball on Sunday, all that's out there for you. All of it. Lots of great stuff going on um, around here. Get out, support the Huskers. And, um, yes, yeah, should be a lot of fun matchups to watch. Now, and we got a big wrestling matchup coming up. It's about to start, top of the hour. Go Huskers over at Iowa. They're walking into the Lions' den tonight. Hawkeyes are really good. Number two team in the country. We wish them the best of luck. Folks, buckle up. Put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Thanks to Cole. Great to have him part of the team now. Thanks to all of you. We're back with another week of Sports Highlight coming up on Monday. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Bank of the West is offering the first checking account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the estimated carbon impact of debit card purchases. And there's no minimum balance required. Learn more at bankofthewest.com slash 1%. Additional conditions apply. Member FDIC. Credit Ohio State for running at her. Here's Shelly. Fastball underneath. Maggie Mendelson kicks it out to Callen Hank for three. You betcha. Off the assist from Maggie Mendelson. Freshman to freshman. Maggie had a layup and got the three in Nebraska within 12. Sunday. Husker Hoops on the women's side starts with pregame coverage with Matt Cotney and Jeff Grish beginning at 12.45 p.m. against Maryland. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores where right now, kids can eat free.